What's up, YouTube? What is up, YouTube? I missed y'all. I know y'all tired of hearing me say that, but I really did miss y'all. Y'all, I don't have no phone storage. There's a piece I have to buy for my camera so that I can upload my videos that I have on there. That's why I have not been posting. So right now, I'm on Hakeem's phone. But I'm here. I'm here. And if you're watching this, that means you are here. So thank you for being here. Appreciate y'all. So I just want to have a little short podcast that, of like self-realization that I realized, right? So I'm looking at my phone because I got some notes. Now, yesterday I went to the mosque and they spoke on a lot of things. But one thing was about finding out why you are the way you are or why you think the things that you think. Now, one thing that he said, the minister said in the mosque was, do not judge yourself. Don't be discouraged by your ups and your downs and your struggle. That life is a race of endurance and it's can you endure your struggles, your ups and your downs. Now, he gave us a homework assignment, right? Now, he passed out some trees. Now, one thing, you know, is different parts to a tree. Now, the leaves he wanted us to include as family members and a fact about them. Example, mom. Right, I put my mom. My mom is really good at saving money. Uh, my grandma. My grandma gets really defensive when she's upset or something like just just examples, right? So you put these facts about your family members and you go back as far as you can, like your great great grandmother. If you can go back that far, whatever the case may be, you put the facts about your family members, and when you get to the, I think it's the roots. When you get to the trunk, that's yourself. You say, how do you think those things is those things have impacted you? And when you get to the roots, you say, what beliefs have been internalized, right? So I came to a realization, bro. Now, I'm an overthinker. And anybody that knows me or in interacted with me on a certain level knows that I'm an overthinker, right? Well, like, even when I'm playing basketball, like, it'll be like, why are you thinking so hard? Like, just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just me. It's the way that I am. Now, a lot of people may know that with an overthinker, you have to be very reassuring to help calm the overthinking, right? It's like a lot of noise, like help calm the noise. Now, if I'm trying to sleep, but I'm overthinking about something, I can't sleep. It's too loud. Like, I can't sleep. Legit, I can't sleep until whatever it is that I'm thinking about or like that that's that happening through me internally until I figure that out, I can't sleep. Now, one thing that I really realized that oh, <laughs> so my stepfather raised me, right? I love that man. That is an amazing man. Shout out to that man. If you watching this, shout out to you. My stepfather raised me. My biological father, who is partially present in my life now, I'm 22 year old, partially present in my life now, wasn't present before, right? So, I mean, I know about him, saw him once a year, like legit, like once a year, wasn't really present in my life. So, I was making a video yesterday. I made a video, a little clip. Y'all know when, if any of y'all seen the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, y'all remember when Will Smith was like, how come you don't want me, man? Like talking about his father. Like that whole plot, or whatever. You ain't got to do no nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old. You know, ain't like I'm gonna be sitting up every night asking my mom when's Daddy coming home. You know, who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Got through my first day without him, right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die out with him! I ain't need him then and I don't need him now. Will. Will. Nah, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey and I'm gonna have me a whole bunch of kids. I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? I 
felt that when I first watched that, I legit cried because it's like, dang, I felt that. I felt that. Like when you when you have someone that has a lack of presence in your life that should be present in your life, you can't help but think like, what did I do wrong to make you not want to be there? What am I lacking as a person to make you not want to be there? You feel what I'm saying? So when I was younger, not now, when I was younger, I I did feel that. Like I felt that way, y'all. I felt that way, and I know some of y'all felt that one too. So that made me realize, dang, the lack of feeling wanted, right? And then leading into my adulthood or me growing into a person, I allowed people to take advantage of me. And that means like, when certain people would ask me to do things, I just say yes and I just do it. Or even I'll say no, but then like, their reaction to me saying no, I'll just do it anyways. Cause it's like, all right, you want me to do something for you which means that you want me for something. So in order to not feel unwanted again, I allow you to take advantage of me. Y'all see what I'm saying here? Y'all see what I'm getting at? Y'all, when I realized that, I was like, what the freak? In order for myself to not feel unwanted, I allow people to take advantage of me so that I would feel wanted. What the freak? And when I said that, I'm talking to my fiance yesterday. I said that out loud, I'm like, I've never said that out loud before. Like, it came to that realization of myself. And I'm like, dang, that's sad, bro. Like, <laughs> like on some real junk. Like, now I've grown with the letting people, allowing people to take advantage of me thing because, no, but my answer is no, is no. Oh, why? Da, da, da. Like, I don't care about the reactions no more. Like, people are really like, that's, if you, if I'm being real with you, that's manipulation. Like, you saying no about somebody, something, and you always saying yes or whatever, and somebody react in a certain type of way like you're the worst person in the world, that's a total manipulation. That's a total manipulation. And me personally, I don't deserve that. I'm a great human being. I'm a striving to be a good and even better human being, y'all. So, y'all, when I realized that, I was like, dang. And then that adds on to the overthinking, you know? Dang. I say no, then this person won't, you know, want me to do anything for them anymore. Then they won't constantly call me or ask me for help, blah, blah, blah. Now, I, I don't overthink nearly as much as I used to, but I still overthink just cause like, see what I'm saying? Like my fiance got this house and he'll text me right when he gets to a place. Are you okay? Are you there yet? See what I'm saying? I just wanna know you good. The world we live in today, like I just wanna make sure you alive. That's all, I just wanna know you got to where you are going safely. But y'all, like, I encourage y'all to like find yourself. Like, find yourself before you find yourself being with someone else when you don't know yourself. A lot of reason relationship a lot of reasons relationships don't work out is not because that someone's with someone that's broken. It's because someone's with someone that does not know themselves. And if I don't know me, how can I expect you to know me? Now, granted, we're all still growing and learning ourselves, or whatever the case may be. And like I said, I'm only 22. So it's going to take me a long time to keep finding myself. But like when I realized that yesterday, y'all, I was like, dang, that's some real jump. Then when I realized, like, uh, as I became an adult, once I, once I stopped allowing that to occur, it was like, a, oh, so people don't want to be bothering me no more. Cool. And I'm cool with that. Me personally, like, you're not going to pick me up and play with me when you want to and put me down when you when you're, when you don't want to no more. And put me up playing with you when you're bored. No, no, no. We're not doing that. I deserve much better than that. And y'all deserve much better than that. So if you find yourself in a situation where you only talk to people when you reach out to people or whenever they need something from you, ah, I bit my tongue. Or whenever they need something from you, get out of that situation because you deserve better than that. And I'm here to tell you, you deserve better than that. So y'all, that was just a little, whatever you want to call it, a little whatever you want to call it. But I definitely encourage y'all to go seek and find yourselves and find out why you are the way you are. Like, and know the way to, and the only way to find that out is like history. Like, even thinking as to when you were younger, what occurred when you were younger. Not since out of ten is when you were younger. What occurred when you were younger to, to make you think the way that you do now? Now, granted, it could be something you you something happened and you think the opposite of it. Like, say. God forbid, father beat your mom, whatever the case may be. 
And instead of you thinking the same thing, like, oh, I, that's okay, I should allow that to happen, you can think the opposite. So it's really different with everybody. But I really encourage y'all to begin your journey of finding yourself. Y'all, I've been in that weight room. I kid y'all not, I really be in that weight room consistently. Like, I'm disciplining myself to be in that weight room, which is different for me. I'm trying to discipline myself better with my food and my eating habits. I've been selling some plates, y'all, but that's neither here nor there. But I'm trying to discipline myself on my eating habits to get better. But y'all, I have been in that weight room. And that junk is so clearing. Like, it's so clarifying. Like, it helps. What's the word? It, it just helps. Um, it helps me to find almost the peace that I've been looking for. You get what I'm saying? Like, things go on in life or whatever the case may be, and you could step in that weight room. Like, when I tell you, I saw, I saw a video a long time ago about, um, what is that man's name? I don't know. But I saw a video a long time ago, and the guy was saying that, a guy came up to him and was like, he wanted, you know, he don't think he can live anymore. He wanted to commit suicide. And he told him to consistently work out for a month straight or three months straight and tell him if you feel the same way. The guy then reached out to him and told him, you know, he feels great. He's never felt better. He doesn't feel the same way. That's a mental thing, bro. Everything is mental, bro. So you just got to learn, not learn how to deal with things, but learn how to responsibly and, like, safely find a way to, what's that word? Transfer that energy that you're feeling. So all that negative energy can be transferred into working out. Like, I tell people this all the time, like, yo, even if you don't want it, I'm not telling you hit the weights, be super broke, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you to start, start something like exercising, and like, you'll see how better you, see how much better you'll feel. But y'all, thank y'all for watching my video. I missed y'all. Yo, I'm gonna buy that piece when I get paid, so that way y'all can see this clip. I have a uh, little 1v1 with my homeboy. I won, of course, but anyways, I want y'all to tune in, keep tuning in, because I'm gonna start posting. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on so we can hear when it rings. Y'all, I'm almost at 500 subs. I need to get on my get on, get on on my bigger ladder. I'm almost at 500 subs. So make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on, and peace.